everybody and welcome to the Arc Audio Technical Training Series on the PS8 and the PS8 software. This is episode number 11 and we're going to cover a quick overview of the crossover panel and the signal delay panel of the new PS8 software. So let's get started. First we're going to come down and open up the software. And as always we're going to open up our meters and now we're going to go into the crossover panel. Now as you see we're on output one right now but you could easily come in and select any of the numbers uh, layouts over here. These are all your channels for channels one through eight. So let's say we want channel six and once you're in each one of these channel panels you have the options of selecting from dampening, slope, as well as your frequency for high pass and low pass portions of the crossover. So you can come in the dampening and you have the options for Butterworth, Linkwitz Riley, Variable Q, and Bessel. And at the same time, if you come in a Bessel, it also opens up things like normalization controls, or in variable Q, it opens up the variable Q. So sticking with Linkwitz Riley, we're going to come over here to slope, and you have the options for all pass, as well as 6 dB through 48 dB slope adjustments. And for frequency, we've made a couple changes, and you actually have the opportunity now for the crossovers to go as low as 10 hertz. This is great for subsonic filters and a few other applications where those really low crossover points are needed. So we can come in and adjust frequency by simply sliding the slider left or right. We can also, once we're selected, we can use the arrow key and jump, jump up incrementally, or we can come up into the number area and type in a given frequency if you already know what it is. And the same way works for low pass. Easy. Going into the delay panel, you've got all of your number output channels here. So this represents each one of the eight outputs. These could end up having your individual names on it that you've personalized for your system. Right next to it, we have phase. And these are real simple to use. You just simply check the checkbox for that channel and it will flip the output phase 180 degrees. Uh, this could be used for anything from uh, wi you know, fixing wiring issues to also dealing with acoustical phase issues inside the vehicle too, where a 180 degree flip of uh, a, a phase is going to possibly raise your stage or other things like that. So we also have the availability for grouping and you can come in and group your channels together. So let's say channels one and channel three, your front left tweeter and front left mid, and you want to be able to adjust them at the same time, adding more delay to them to bring the sound to the center of the vehicle. By putting both one and three on, uh, on group one, we can now grab a hold of the slider. And as you see with the display on the right hand side, we can adjust both of these at the same time. You could effectively hook all of these up in the same group if that's what you really wanted to do but it makes for a real easy operation this way and you can also come back in and ungroup and continue adjustment only on one channel so adjusting delay you can either a adjust it by dragging the slider using your mouse or b once you're clicked on it you can use your arrow keys and if you'll notice, our adjustment is 0 0.01 milliseconds. And this is a really good, high accurate improvement that is going on with the PS8. And it's a lot different than a lot of the processors out there where you find numerical jumps in their uh, claimed resolution. Ours is a true 0 0.01. Or you can come in and actually type in your actual delay code. And of course the representation of the way that you're doing the alignment is all depicted on how you choose your uh, unit of metrics from the setup panel uh, as we had discussed in one of the earlier chapters or episodes of this series. But otherwise that's it. Good luck and good tuning and we'll see you in the next episode.